use that old phrase, it's not what you know, it's who you know. And wouldn't you like to know everybody that your business associates know? I'm uh, Mark Kwame. I'm a partner at Sequoia Capital. I'm on the board of LinkedIn, and Sequoia Capital was the initial institutional investor in LinkedIn. This is several years ago now. I was reading a magazine about uh, MySpace and how Fox Interactive bought MySpace, and there was a fellow named Ross Levinson who did the, did the acquisition. I didn't know Ross from the man on the moon. I typed in his name thinking, oh, maybe he's on LinkedIn. Turns out Several of my friends were linked to him. One of them was Mark Andreessen. So I sent Mark Andreessen a quick, you know, email, email through LinkedIn, and, and the next day I was talking to Ross. I had this, oh my gosh! I mean, I, I, there was no other way I would have known that Mark Andreessen was connected to Ross Levinson. And then on top of that, you know, to get a reference from Mark Andreessen, Ross Levinson's going to going to listen to that, and you know, Mark Andreessen trusts me. So this whole trust triangle thing worked worked very very well. Folks are you know saying, hey, I'm a I'm a programming guy. I got this technology. I'm looking for a business guy to go do this, and they're actually meeting each other on LinkedIn to provide business uh, capabilities. So as you started to see that ecosystem start to build, it got to be pretty interesting. I was responsible for the uh, Sequoia offsite in Hong Kong, uh, the activities. So I sent out a question on LinkedIn Answers and said, do you guys know any great team building things in, in Hong Kong? I got 13 high quality answers in a very short period of time. I had the social contract, if you will, with all of my contacts and then that was passed on to their contacts and I got just fabulous answers. I can really see how corporations and how individuals can get some unique value that they could not get in any other place using LinkedIn. <laughs>